time stope. Is it the next big cryptocurrency? In this video I'm going to talk about time stope and I'm going to run through the app. But before I jump in, consider subscribing. It's no cost to you and you get notified on future crypto videos that I make. Timestope was started to make a currency that's fair for everyone by using time itself. No matter if you're rich or poor, you still have 24 hours in one day. Timestope takes this concept by allowing you to mine 24 time per day, one per hour. Now, unlike similar currencies like the Pi Network or B Network, Timestope's mining works a little differently. In the Pi Network, you tap a button every 24 hours to continue mining. In Timestope, you do what is called attendance. Every 24 hour period, you have to check in for attendance. Every time you check in, you get two attendance points, and every time you don't, you get minus three. If your attendance points reach zero, you lose all your time and you can't get it back. Also, if you're unresponsive to the notification to mine for three days in a row, your account will be seen as dead, and then you can't use any service in time stove. So in other words, unlike the Pi Network, you can't just take a one week vacation and expect to come back and mine more. Remember, your time is what they're going for here. So if you're just checking in and out once a month or just going to it when you feel like it, that would defeat the purpose. When you're mining, you start what is called a stope term. This is where the stope in the name comes in. This is how long you can mine time stope. When signing up, you get two years and you can extend it in two ways. The first is inviting 250 people. This increases your stope term by another two years for every 250. The other is by having a good attendance score. So once you reach 300, your term increases by 120 days. If it's 500, 240. 700, 360, 1,540, and every 200 beyond that, it's 120 days. All of this means that you will never be able to stop mining time. This means the supply will always be increasing over time, and there's no set amount. The only way to join is with a referral code, and I have mine in the description or on the screen right now. Every time you refer someone, you get a portion of their time. When you join, you get 14.4 time, whereas the person that referred you gets 9.6 of your time. That means if you refer 10 people, you could get 96 time per day on top of the 14.4 you already get. Also, the Time Stope app is only available in the Google Play Store right now. So if you want to get it and you don't have an Android phone, you can always download and install it on BlueStacks which is basically an Android emulator. Now, if you're perusing the settings, you might notice that you can see how your time converts to US dollars. This values each time at 1.3 cents, but this is purely what they think it will be worth. Remember, time is not worth anything right now, but they hope to be by mid-2022. Also, just to mention, one of my favorite features of the app is the ability to transfer time. You just have to know the ID of the other person and then you can transfer it. With that, I'm going to dive into the app and all the features it has. So this is the Time Stope app. Up here, you're greeted with your balance and the US dollar equivalent. Remember, it's not worth anything right now. Down here is the official telegram if you want to sign up for that. And now here's your wallet. This shows your status, whether you're stoping or whether you're not. This is where you can send time. Remember, you just put in the ID of the person you want to send it to. Put in the amount. And then the fee is one time. And you can also see the history of your past transactions. So you can already use time if you want for real goods with other people. Right here is the your profile. That's pretty self-explanatory. The white paper, which shows all the different logistics of, of time stoke. All right, up here 
is just the website where it will open the time stoke page right in your app. Here's the terms of use FAQ. This has a lot of answers to questions that you may have. Here's the settings. This can allow you to turn on the conversion indicator. Also an alarm and notifications for attendance. Here's just like a chat feature. Most of the crypto networks have it. This is the amount of people you've invited to Timestope. Remember, this is how you can mine more. And finally here just shows your attendance. As you can see, I need to sign my attendance for this next period. So I'm gonna click the stamp. And it does it on UTC, so it might not be midnight for you. All right. So now you see that this is showing up in pink, which means I'm good for the next 24 hours. This shows you your attendance score. You start at 100, so it's not like if you stop mining for a, a day right after, you won't lose everything. It'll take time. So that's basically it. It's a very simple app to use. Remember, if you don't have an Android phone, you can just download it onto BlueStacks. BlueStacks is pretty self-explanatory. And now I'm gonna go into my final thoughts. In short, I think Timestope is definitely more likely to succeed than the most recent cryptocurrencies that I've reviewed, Midorn and the Eagle Network. It has a few differences than the Pi and B Network, and it could be worth something in the future, or it might not. It might be a total waste of time. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please consider liking and subscribing. Up on your screen right now is another video that you might like. Click it or click the subscribe button. Have a great day.